Chrissy Chin here, business coach, podcast host, super excited to teach you how to set up your pop-up on your website for your blog post, which I also use for my podcast show notes. So let's get right to it and dive in. All right, when you come into your Kajabi account, let me show you really quick how to add an exit pop-up so that a pop-up happens when someone is on your pages. Now I have this set up in the blog section. So in Kajabi, I'm gonna click on website, click on pages, and then I'm gonna go into blog. So my blog is my podcast. If you don't know that I leverage the blog section for podcast show notes. So here I am in my podcast area. I have my podcasting all set up. Um, you know, we've got a hero, we've got my blog listings. Show, so it shows all my blog listings. Um, I've got a footer and then we want to, we want to, um, edit the exit pop-up. So I'm going to click on that exit pop-up and um, we can see right here, edit exit pop-up. So by clicking this, it's going to show us our pop-up and what it looks like. We're going to unclick that before we're done. So it says, remember to uncheck when you're done, enable exit pop-up. So yes, I want the pop-up to happen. Okay. We're going to select an image and put it here. So you can see my image right here on the right hand side and then the form. So we've got our image. I've uploaded that here by selecting an image, uploading a new file. I don't have anything happening in terms of if they were to click on the image, you know, we could send that to a URL or anything like that. Um, you can also add, you know, some text here for SEO, probably not super imperative that you do that here. Um, but I don't have anything. My picture is not going to do anything. So let's click back and then my form. So this is where you need to create a form, which is under marketing that's designated for here so that when they enter their name and their email, they, they get entered to your email list with maybe some appro appropriate tags, the appropriate information, they get the appropriate email. Okay. And then the thank you landing page. So I've got a thank you page that's super specific to this masterclass. Um, always helpful to have a universal thank you page for a freebie, like thanks for grabbing my free gift. Um, and you can use that for all of your freebies if you want. And then here's the content that goes right here. So, you know, this is a masterclass. It's happening at a certain time. So I'm going to do that. What, what are they going to learn? How did these three things that they're going to learn? Save your seat now. Super simple. Um, you know, not too much information here, but if they want to learn about these things, they're like, okay, I'm interested in this masterclass. They can enter their name and email, save their seat. So I do also like to add disclaimers. So when you, um, we'll also send you weekly emails, free content, you can unsubscribe at any time. So I do like to add a disclaimer text there and then the button we would change here. So I want it to say, yes, save my seat. You can say, download my free gift or grab the freebie or whatever is um, relevant to what you are doing. And then I think that was basically it. Of course you can change, you know, colors of buttons and whatnot. Um, so we're going to save that and I'm going to go back and then um, exit pop-up settings. So frequency of days, this is, you know, if you have a visitor come and then you don't want them to see the pop-up for a certain amount of days, like, okay, if they come, you know, within a day or two, you could put that there. Don't show them the pop-up. But if they come back after that, then show them the pop-up again. So totally up to you or you can leave it every time they come they get that pop up. It can get a little bit annoying. So maybe it's, you know, one day or two days. So if they opt in, they don't see it again, at least for another day. And then time reveal, how, how many seconds do you want for it to pop up? I wanted mine to pop up pretty quick. So I'm doing five seconds here. Um, and then just some different layout options, um, here. And I didn't, I actually didn't touch any of those. So then we're going to save it. We want to make sure we uncheck this edit exit pop-up and we can go back. We can go out of this. Let's save it all. And then we can go to my website. Let's click podcast again. That's going to open the blog section. Where is where I was? Maybe someone's starting to scroll through. Maybe they're looking at the tags and boom, there is my freebie 
right in their face, ready for them to say, mm, do I want this? Yes or nope, not interested, or I'm already signed up, they can exit it. And then since I have it set to, it's not gonna happen again, if they go to this again in that day, it will not pop up again, they've already seen it, okay? But then if they come back tomorrow, I've got it set to where it will pop up, okay? And they can just scroll through here. So that is how you set up your pop-up on your blog. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this. If you have a question, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. And of course, before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that red button, hit that subscribe. Don't forget to then hit the bell so you can be notified when new videos come out. I do release weekly videos and episodes to my YouTube channel so you can tune in every single week and learn something to help you build, scale, and grow your business.